Chapter 8. Friedrich. Van Jenike was excited to meet someone knowledgeable about history and spoke with confidence, saying, one of my ancestors was Irish and many looking for work served as overseers during slavery. Some were kind and gentle and some were not. But my ancestor left that in care market during the, what they have gave, the devil's punch bowl. Where 20,000 black men during the Civil War were murdered in a mass grave, a horrendous crime they tried to hide from history, Friedrich shook his head, yes, even as you speak I'm reminded that even after the Civil War, most George Tranners, Grums, and Jackies were our people in a sport, back then, Cayet the Kentucky Derby. In fact, of the 28 winning Jackies of the first Kentucky Derby, 15 of them were our people. However, we were banned from the sport, once the Jim Crow era. Began. But about 80 years later, we produced men like Marlon Saint Julian, Kevin Kreider, and Oliver Lewis. All Oliver Lewis was born into slavery but won first place in the inaugural Kentucky Derby of 1875. There was a young man. Friedrich Post, M. His name is at the tip of. Mei Tang. Soup, that was his name. At 15, James Soup Perkins became one of the youngest Jackies to win the Kentucky Derby and another man, Isaac Burns Murphy was known as one of the best Jackies to ever race. Yes, we all heard of Meghan Markle, but she was not the first black woman to become a member of the British royal family, as if it matters. But Queen Sophie Charlotte, the wife of King George III, was. Banjini Kibu, smiling in agreement, yes, we have heard of those, but did you know that during slavery, there were a series of revolts and rebellions by slaves against their masters? In Britain, they ended the British slave trade in 1807 through Parliament, but it wasn't the end of slavery itself, it wasn't a provision to free those who were already enslaved. At the same time, slavery persisted, especially in the Caribbean. The act only made the buying and selling slaves from British ships illegal. However, the slaves in Barbados started freed them, but they weren't, causing the Barbados Revolt of 1816. Van Jenny Kebu smiled. He never been to Africa or any place other than Louisiana, until now so I speak about my history and what comes close to home and is that you own it, on an international level and that's different for me. He might know it but it sounds. Different from someone who more. Friedrich, politely interrupted by Jenny Ekebu. That's precisely it, because he never heard of this devil's punch bowl. African history is as you say, hit closely to home than American slavery. Van Jenny Kibu smiled, that makes sense. Well, we can. Definitely learn what's missing in both of our understanding of them both. Friedrich shook his head, yes we can, please continue. Van Jenny Kibu smiled, okay well, it was rare for our people to have control over an enormous amount of land. However, Reverend Isaac Simmons, from Amit County, Mississippi, owned over 270 acres of debt free land. His family worked the land, produced traps and sold the wood of the land. A rumor was started that there was oil on his land, and a group of weak men sold up on Simmons' land and warned him to stop cutting lumber. Knowing what was about to happen, Emir Simmons consulted with a lawyer, a man who practices law, to work out the dispute and ensure that the property would belong to his children in the event of his death. Later, the men kidnapped and shot Simmons three times, cut out his tongue, and got the rest of the family ten days to get off the land. Like always, an Alwit Hurry acquitted them, and they successfully stole his land. Friedrich Post, but it's especially sad when your own people, whether or not flesh and blood, betray you. That's something that cats worse than a knife can ever do. Whether for money, power, or position, it don't matter. Selling out your own is the worst kind of betrayal, and justice must be taken to all that pain to bring about peace, and these demons are doing far worse than we as a people have ever encountered. If seen what they were doing to our people, and it is excruciating to see the cruelty. Ben Jenny Kebu said. He liked you, a man after my own art. Who loves Sabas and knows a little about history? Friedrich smiled, a little. He, John Brown, the man mentioned in Frederick Tales, letter to Harriet Tubman, a name almost unknown to most Americans. Although it was the frontrunner of some of the most important moments in the 19th century. Ron's name was lost to history until 2020 when there was a miniseries about him named The Good Lord Per, but it did him just a little justice for they saw him as a crazy man, a Bible fanatic. Like you have to be crazy to see the injustice of a race of people. 
Let. Me tell you, he ties to slavery not only led him into non-violent resistance but to active, violent terrorism, which would cause many deaths and lead up to the civil war. At 12, Brown recalls watching a black boy being beaten by a man with an iron shovel right in front of him. An everyday incident in America profoundly affected Brown's attitude toward slavery throughout his entire life. As he grew up and had a family, he always kept his disgust with slavery, but it had to take a tragedy to put his wheels in motion. Elijah Paris Lovejoy was also an outspoken opponent of slavery, which his community met with intense hostility. He was sent to threats, his offices were attacked, and eventually, he was gunned down and killed. The line of Lovejoy disgusted John Brown, and vowed to work for the rest of his life to carry on Lovejoy's work and oversee the abolition of slavery. A difficult task for Brown because he was broken, on top of that, at the old problems that had plowed his family. Yet, he would not give up and made his way to Boston to join the anti-slavery crusade. Brown and his family arrived in Boston when the city was transforming into a central hub of anti-slavery activity. Mind you, Boston was one place that dealt with and was famous for slab farms. Ben Jenny Kebu said, Yes, I'm aware of that, and it produced the word motherfucker from that event, for slabs were forced to have sex with their children to produce better soccer yet stock like they do with balls and jerseys. Friedrich said, We will have to talk in depth on that, he didn't know all that. He knew about the slab farm but didn't know that part, he shook his head with disappointment, damn. Anyway, Brown immediately threw himself into the organization and became a crucial figure in the running of the famous Underground Railroad. The government deemed the Underground Railroad deeply subversive. It led to the establishment of the Fugitive Slab Act, which permitted bounty hunters to capture slabs and return them to their so-called masters, and some were, well, you know. In response, Brown turned away from nonviolent action and established a vigilant group known as the League of Hilladites to protect slabs from being captured. While Brown's activities were primarily nonviolent, at first, this changed when pro slavery forces invaded Kansas, where his sons lived. The violence during this period was the intense, but brutal beating of the anti slavery Senator Charles Sumner. Brown was not forgiven and retaliated. Brown and his comrades murdered five of the men two days after the beating, which caused brutal violence. During this, one of his sons was killed. After seeing the death of his son, it is not clear how many pro-slavery men were killed by Brown, but his willingness to use violence spread throughout the United States, for some held him as a hero and others as a dangerous terrorist. Over the next few years, Brown's violent activities would escalate. He gathered a force of 22 vigilantes and attacked Harper's Ferry, which Kent and an armory. The tension of the vigilante group was to seize the weapons and spark a revolution that would lead to the abolition of slavery by E-Force. However, the U.S. Marines attacked the vigilantes, and many of Brown's allies and two more of his sons were killed. Brown refused to surrender, saying he would rather die than give up to the soldiers. He was knocked unconscious, arrested, and sent to prison. They charged and sentenced him to death. The court held him in total contempt, saying. Van Jenny Kebu interrupted Friedrich, had he so interfered with the rich, the powerful, the intelligent, the great or on behalf of any of their friends, it would have been all right, and every man would have thought it worthy of reward rather than punishment. Van Jenny Kebu continued, the unim to death in Virginia. He was 15 in. After his death, the civil war broke out in the United States, leading to the abolition of slavery. Yes, he have definitely heard of John Brown, but he didn't know all that. Okay then, according to my belief and knowledge, Africans are the first humans on earth. Many have heard it but do not believe it to be true. Because our history was altered, they and others have been feeding everyone less. The oldest human remains found by archaeologists is that of a negro, brown or black person, whatever you want to call us. It helps prove the fact that Africans created civilization and that various African trees inhabited regions outside of Mother Africa. Just the other day he was doing some research on one such group, the Twa tribe of Africa, who were the first people to live in Ireland. They were also referred to as Akan by other African tribes and the well-known word Leprechaun by the Europeans. Leprechaun comes from the old Irish word Lucherpan, a compound name composed of Lu, meaning small and core, meaning body. They venerated the great black mother and that women as leaders of their tribe. 
There have been many tales talked about leprechauns and their magical powers. Many people believed them to be a fairy tale, but in reality, they existed. The twas were small men and women who grew to about 4 foot 11 inches. They were skilled craftsmen who migrated from Africa to Ireland thousands of years ago and had advanced knowledge of medicine, metallurgy, textile, and clothing. Manufacturing Excellent shoemaking, which the Caucasians at that time in human existence thought was magical. Various authorities have confirmed the presence of the Twa people in history and archaeology. British Egyptologists Gerald Macy, Albert Churchward, and the Scottish. Historian David McRitchie, as well as the British antiquarian Godfrey Jenkins have researched this topic and they have shed light on the Twa people. Using names such as Black as Ethiopians, Cum Nigris Gentibus, Nimble Fool the Black Moors to describe them. But the Partolans, Fomorians, Nems, Firbolgs, Tuata de Danan, Milesians of Ireland, and the Picts of Northern Scotland were all blacks. Historians describe them as dwarfs, dark elves, or leprechauns in Irish history. There is even a book by David A. McRitchie entitled Ancient and Modern Britons, which stated that the wild tribes of Ireland were black men is hinted at by the fact that a wild Irishman is in Gallica black, Irishman or Dube Irenach. The word Dube in Gallic is black. Like in many parts of the world, there are accounts of Europeans committing, eliminating, or going to war with African tribes throughout history. Entire tribes have been wiped out throughout human history and they are one of them. Many believe that the Irish celebration of St. Patrick was the hunting down of the Twa people. The reason for the Irish holiday is a poem that said to reveal a hidden meaning, a moral or political one at that. According to the Irish, back in the 5th century, St. Patrick exterminated the Ireland snakes by driving them all into the sea. The Irish can. Christians make it sound like sap the Caucasian people from real deadly snakes, but that is false. No evidence points to the existence of snakes, even being in Ireland. Ireland never had snakes, there are no snakes in Iceland. Hawaii, New Zealand, Greenland, or Antarctica for the same. Reasons You see, Ireland was once connected to a large landmass during the East A, and the land was far too cold for any cold-blooded reptiles to survive. Ireland became colder when the glaciers melted thousands of years ago, pouring more cold water between Ireland and its neighbors. Other animals, like wild boars, lynx, and brambles, made it across. Also, only a single reptile, the common lizard, was able to make it. Snakes, however, missed their chance to survive in Ireland. So, there was no way St. Patrick could have chased snakes into the sea with his religious powers. The Twa people are the snakes he chased out and killed. The Twa people, just like many African tribes, were wise, just like the serpent. The Twa, just like many ancient African tribes, were also referred to as Nate, Nagar, and Negus, which loosely means serpent people or people of the serpent. Friedrich nodded his head. He knew about the first part, but didn't know about the last part about the snakes. It makes sense that the Jerius or serpent crown on Egyptian and Nubian royalty was known as the Nagar or the Negus, symbolizing wisdom, power, and protection. African cultures and religions have long used the serpent to represent eternal life, regeneration, power, protection, and wisdom. Banjini Kibu nodded, it is fitting that the allegory of serpents clearly points to the Twa people. It's safe to say that St. Patrick was mostly a warlord and celebrated his role in eliminating and chasing the Twa into the sea, where they met their death. Everyone knows black people ruled Russia and Europe during the Dark Ages. Friedrich smiled, that fits as well, they created the Dark Ages. Banjini Kebu smiled, you sound like me, and I'm interested too. Know more about you and how you came to this part of the country, all the way from South, excuse me, Essenia. Friedrich Post, you can say South Africa or Essenia. We have our history here as well. Apartheid was a well-known fact, and we have our heroes and legends like Steve. Baiko, Sheikh Zulu, Mangisazu Butlesi, Nkosi Johnson, Sabo Mbiki, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and of course, Winnie and Nelson Mandela. Our history is not much different from here. Anyway, from North America, my ancestor Eddie Jerome Uptit was a powerful warrior for Sabas, and my great ancestor, his mother, Akela Malek, said this to Kepu is on track. Banjeni Kebu interrupted him, hold on, he heard that name, Kit a few times since he'd been on this journey. Says your ancestor. Friedrich, with a smile, yes, a noble woman in her tent, 
she said, they may steal my crown, but they will never steal my glory. Those words are written in my DNA. Ah. It will raise. For each post, she served Sabas and brought many to knowledge and wisdom, and many of her descendants and followers kept the fight to the present day. She, though, kept the fight, and did it all until my father died, and he became one of the most infamous murderers of Alkem. He killed the men who murdered my father and anyone who spoke down on my people, no matter their color, race, creed, or gender. He was an angry militant drunk. Hell, if they talked badly about our women, they traveled the world, killing racist people. When he was about your age, he was on my way to Israel to kill some of those fake as Jews, but he had to pass the old ruins of the Ethiopian hours that's the way the church, which claimed to possess the Ark of the Covenant, or Tabet, in Axum, where he met a man who later. Van Genieke who interrupted, Nlesi. Friedrich said, but of course, Nlesi. That was 15 years ago, and he have the gift of the Shekin glory. Only enlightened people see it. He just glow like a bright light to them and he can charge you back up when you're weak and down with a touch. That's my hit, a spiritual battery charger. Oh, and evil cannot come near at all. It burns them to come at least 50 yards. He can feel their spirit burning, like a tingling sensation. Banjini Kebu was excited about hearing Friedrich's story. But how did you get here? And in Yal, on top of that. Friedrich laughed, that's a long story, but it involves that man that was just arrested. While here, he found that book in my cell, and he just started reading it to help the camp pass. When he got to that part that you heard me reading, he heard Blessy say, meet Frederick Douglass, Harriet, and you. Came to my cell. Van Jenny Kebu shook his head, well then, come meet the rest of who is. Friedrich said, the dos, right? Well, once, he guess, he made dos. He was supposed to meet eleven more people who were about chosen warriors to lead the way. They entered the room where Jom and the rest of the warriors were eating. Before Van Jenny Kibu could introduce Friedrich to them, the stone's prophet set a gap then began to sing. Elisha and Elisha said, the man with the glow. Friedrich smiled, saying, that's eleven, including myself, where is number twelve. Just then, Queen walked in there she goes, number twelve. Queen, Kenfius, asks, what is it talking about? Queen shook her head, never mind, we need you in this meeting, but you told them you are still eating. Van Jenny Kebu shook his head, no, we we'll come now and eat later. Walking alongside Queen, the warriors were tired, and Friedrich said to Van Jenny Kebu, take care of your people and serve Sabas with all your heart, and they shall bless you. Van Jenny Kebu said, you have done that, haven't they? E. Everyone shook their heads, yes. Friedrich then said, everyone except one. Van Jenny Kebu stopped, who? Friedrich smiled, everyone except yourself. Rest, and build up what you have gotten so far, because a war is coming, and you must be prepared. Love is a mighty thing. They looked over at Queen as continued. Sabas wants you to find love and make yourself complete. Then he looked at Queen Gain, and they continued to walk toward the meeting. Van Jenjik boot out about what Friedrich said, but as soon as they entered the meeting room, Dark Eagle said, Van Jenjik Ebu, we are still determining how to divide the land. We don't see how to organize the people, nor the land. Van Jenjik Ebu out for a minute and said as Dark Eagle projected a map on the wall, we are now in possession of land from Pikachu Peak State Park to Tucson, from Tucson to the Watchtower, from the Watchtower to Madinat al Tambir, and from Madinat al Tambir to Colonia Anahuac, but Avenians still surround Luis. Phoenix, to the north of U.S., El Paso, Texas, to the east, and the Isles of California to the west. Yet by is we incas ourselves with the military. The warriors and their families, then the civilians. We must be structured to keep order and peace, and we must check all that life here and search their yards. A uge task. But it must be done. We cannot live in peace when evil is in our midst. It will take some time. But it's time that he settled down and do the will of Sabas because a great war is coming, and I'll must be enlightened. I will not be warriors, but I will be enlightened. Sabas knows what we need, and they shall supply our needs. Once the enlightenment is finished, we will have all we need. Steading the map, a while longer, he continued, 
Friedrich will be our adjudicator, and the rest of the warriors will have their army. Friedrich turned to Van Genekebu, my yad, at first, this was about fall, but the day that this planet rejected him and was about to be destroyed was when it became Satan's turn to rule this planet. Satan was trying to control it from the beginning, but now, it's Satan's world because the evil yards of men. Sabas has allowed Satan to control it while Sabas gathers his people. We will hear him bark, meaning we will have a few battles here and there, but he still chained up and cannot harm Wes until he is released from his chance. Think not, he don't know what you have done because he does. But one day, he will get loose. So, clear the evil hearted men from among ways, regardless of race, color, or religion. They don't care if. It's your mother. An evil hearted person must not live within your walls or know what you are doing, least. Satan creeps in and takes all you have, even your soul. For we are what we've done in this life and what has been done to us created to us. So, that is what you will lose gains to us. Therefore, we must seek enlightenment and let Sabas use U.S. as he pleases. Friedrich paused, unless he visited me, and said that Sabas will stir in the waters of the wolf and the Atlantic as in a great pot, and his fist will go through the bottom of theirs and will send a slow flood, and many cities will be underwater, and some will disappear forever. We will be in many, many battles, but after this event and the lands become dry, a great battle shall come, and we must send all who cannot fight to the home of the south until the battle is over. Friedrich held his head down, he would rather die for Sabas than die for himself. And the people heard his words and repeated them. He would rather die for Sabas than die for himself. Friedrich continued, We must pray the prayer of Sabas when we go into these battles. Maya Jans is we seven, where do all those who reside in the holy grounds? It is to them he commit this battle, and they will fight for me. See? Friedrich then shouted. Usisao. They looked at Friedrich and smiled, it means, never forget. They all shout, Usisao. For hours, Dark Eagle and his family, alongside Banjin Ikebu and the warriors, stood up all night organizing their plans and deciding what to do and how to do it. After the meeting, everyone was tired, but they all agreed with this new plan. Banjin Ikebu walked into his room and stared at the candles as he sat on the corner of his bed. Shouts rushed through his mind. He grabbed his notepad and wrote, Lost and found. Looking for the lost he found, to see if he need, to recover a couple of things. Took two people along with me, to help me see. We walk up an escalator, then took some six again steps. Followed by some sliding jowls. At the end of the hall was a sun. Lost he found. He saw a young lady, he haven't seen in 21 years. Why didn't you come through the side doors, you're messing up my flowers? He replied, all these years, you're still yelling, fussing, and cursing. As he rushed to go toward the back. The sight of her brought back pain, betrayal, and tears. On my way there. He sees a money he not seen in 15 years. A red bastard, who was mean? He asked, why are you still a me? He replied, oh, you rebat. Confused look on my face as I rushed to get a gat. Started shooting up the place, he felt this grass. Told my friends, who were with me then, let's get out of this place. But it you wanted to find something you lost, one said. He replied with a smile. He just realized, he didn't lose anything, he trapped those things on purpose. Because they hindered my life. As crazy as it sounds. He lost them, so. He could be found. He grot, oh me, oh my. Oh me, oh my, was the cry of an old man he once knew. He prayed to the father about his blessings, his trials. That he endured during his lifetime. Eighty years in the world, some good and of course, some bad. Many sad. Oh me, oh my, was his reply. Remembering the days, frustrations in life. But at all times he had a smile etched upon his face. Now, as he listened to him pray, having that conversation with his maker. Thinking is going to live soon, one day. Oh me oh my is I. To think about him. What happened to him? It seemed like it was just the other day, 
a stroke rushed across his yard. Lost one of his legs. Now, crying today. He sit in his house, seeing the grandkids playing. His accomplishments are great and many years have passed. Hoping one day, he can say, before he die. Oh me oh my. He flipped the page over and brought, Black Harmony. Black Harmony is a thing of the past. Some might say, and the Ben C, and the Do agree. But how can he stop this thing that goes on, in this day and day? There is no unity, like in the days of slavery. When many, can't say all, united into black harmony. Black artists, black business, black corporations grew stronger and stronger. But black on black crime feels there. Foolishness, selfishness, drugs and alcohol, seems to be our good. Betty now, that's Ali. Ali can do, so it seems, is just cry. But my eyes have no more tears. Nothing but fear, you waiting black harmony. They grow up. Last. What is last? An intense longing, desire, or need. A craving that many will fulfill at any expense, no matter who it may affect. Selfishness. Is it only sexual? Hell no, that's lasciviousness. You can last after anything that's conceived. And last, when it's conceived, brings forth sin. Sin, when it is finished, brings forth it. That's a fact, not fiction. Last for money was my last, until he had a dream. Remembering the wisdom of Solomon, the courage of Elijah. Then he remembered that dream. My art was, some would say, kills, at that time. The day he laid my head down. It was in this room with a ladder, that went upward toward a light. Started climbing this ladder and people started to fall. There were old women and old men climbing slowly, but he was in a hurry to get to the top. So, he started going up the ladder, with no concern about the others. Trying to get to the top, people started to fall, he didn't take care at all. Then as he went up, the younger the people got. Bad hair. He was scared, he just wanted to get there to the top. Non-stop. The light got brighter, he got eager. He got older. Many were falling as my selfishness got stronger. Realized the top at no end. It was too late. He had no family, he had no friends. Driven by last, and died in my sins. Last growth, he be me. He be me. Now, they say me dread, grow too long. Yes, gone too far. But me gate learned just a few more things, about me dreads on me head. Patience. They have shown me. Wisdom is what he says, my dreads on the head are so important to me and only me. Cause he did all things to be someone else. My dreads help me to be me. Use a dress to impress, now he dress for my own success. Is that okay? Can he be me? Seen. For none else will he try to be. He don't really talk like this. But me try to understand all my fellow man. Caus me been a lot of place, met a lot of races, a lot of faces. He read a lot of books, bout me lord. He saw with me. The man low. Chamble to this mess, that caused many to be stressed. Yeah. He look in the mirror, a humble man of God. So, he try. Trying to go far for he trust in only ya. No, not a Christian. According to the new standards. No Muslim, nor Aste, Ibi. Ibi me.